Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Chinyu and I would just like to say a little bit more about my channel in this video here. Technically, this would be like my first video that I'm like talking more about my channel in. So, I would just let you guys know I am currently only doing makeup tutorials, but I would also like to introduce other stuff onto my channel like vlogs, try on hauls makeup hauls stuff like that so for today's video i'm doing a full face of wet and wild only wet and wild products this is what i came up with you can continue watching if you like to see the full glitz of everything that i did so as you can see from the title of the video, I'm doing a full face of wet and wild. I do have all of my products here in a Ipsy box. There were a few products that I wanted to have, but I wasn't able to get them in stores. And I did order them online, but they're not here as yet. So I just went along and just tried to finish it up with what I have. A few products in here I have already tried, like the foundation, the lip sticks the lip gloss the eyeliner the primers the spray one and the tube formula the highlighters i never tried a blush i tried a bronzer so a few like this one here this is the um the setting powder this is in the shade banana so we're using the toner and then we have a lip scrub and after that we do have a primer so these are the three items that I'm using for my skincare ish if the lip scrub is in the flavor oh, flavor watermelon I'm always dropping stuff in every video so this is not new when I'm applying my lip scrub, I do like to wet my lips before I go on into scrubbing my lips because sometimes I do take a little bit longer to do my lips and by then my lips are already dry so I don't want to put the lip scrub onto my lips that is already dry. I don't know why. It doesn't feel right. So this is what it's looking like. It's very much pink. That's like I'm really good. I do have fine grain, so it's not taking that long to, to melt. Okay, so now I'll be using my rose primer water. Now I'll let that sink into my skin. So I did purchase five brow products, but I'm not sure where the other one is. The other one should be a powder kit. So now I have here a retractable brow pencil, which is this one here. It come with the spool to the end, and then the triangle tip. I'm not sure I want to feel about this one here. I do have here a dark brown pencil with the spooly tip I'm not sure what this one is called color brown color brow pencil and then this one here is the pomade but this one here has a brush not a triangle brush to do the brown so I will not use this. I'll be using this here and the retractable brow crayon. So let me see how this is gonna go. I'm so scared. Okay, it's sliding out really nice. It's looking good. I 
Okay, so I'll be using this angle brush from a little while. And this is in shade Espresso. And this is dry. So uh, this is what I'm working with. I do like highlighted brows, so this brush here is from Moda Pro. I'm sure the Moda brushes. So. so now we're gonna move on into the eyes, and I do have two palettes here. This one here is not a basic peach, and this one here is Rose in the Air. This one here is a dupe for the subculture palette. Most of these eyeshadows are dupes for some, some eyeshadow palette. So I'm priming my lids with my Wet n Wild concealer. Same concealer I use for my brows. My sponge I'll be using is also from Wet n Wild. I do have the imprint on it. I did use a sponge already and it's quite good so I don't have anything bad to say about it. I don't have to use a brow product again and then I will know exactly what are my thoughts on it. Because my brows are looking good now but I'm not sure. To set my lids I'll be going in with this new product here from Wet n Wild and this here is the Photo Focus setting powder in the shade Banana. It is finely milled, it is smooth, and also this should also not cause any flashback, which I am so happy about. Wet n Wild is always coming through with the no flashback, so I'm always happy about Wet n Wild. The first shade I'll be going in here is with this shade here, and I'll be packing it all over my lid, like I did with the setting powder. This should be a transition shade. I'm not sure what look I'm going for today, but we're gonna just go along with whatever we come up with. Well, whatever I come up with. So I'll be going in with this shade over here. And now I'm just be packing it on the lid. Now I will be blending this upwards. I think I'm gonna go for a Christmas vibe. Like a burgundy or a like a bronze maroon. I look, I'm not sure. I forgot to mention this brush here is from Beauty Creation. I'll be taking this shade here and I'll be packing it onto the lid then I will blend it upwards. When I'm blending upwards, I'll be using my Wet n Wild brush. This brush is from Urban Studio. Blending that out, I'll be using this shade here and I'll just be running it over the lines. Just blending it up so it will be seamless. Okay, so I wasn't sure where I was going with this, but I did cut the crease and now I will be adding this shimmer shade on top it this gold shimmer shade here okay from that i'll be adding back my burgundy to 
the outer corners and smoke it. I was not sure what look I was going for. I was just going along because this was nothing what I planned to do. This was nowhere near. Okay, after that, I'll be adding in this brown shade here on top of the burgundy to get it a little bit more dark. I'm focusing more on having these two shades blend together than I'm focusing out here. I'm more into here. So for my wing eyeliner, I'll be using my Mega Wing Eyeliner. So I'm back with my eyeliner. They're looking okay, not too good, but okay. So now I'm gonna move on with my lashes and I'll be using my same lashes that I was using in previous videos. So now we're going in with my Wet n Wild Max Volume Plus Waterproof Mascara. My lashes look okay. Nothing too big, but. Mascara is mascara. So this is what the eyes are looking like for the moment. I do think my glue is not dried already, so. So I do have two primers and these two are the one that I normally use. I do use both. But today I will do go for the three primer. So I'll put this all over my face because I do not have the moisturizer. So excuse me if I look too shiny. I'll be using two foundation here today, which is the What Am I Photo Focus Foundation in the shade Caramel. And then I'll be using the foundation stick in the shade Golden Tan. stick foundation under my eyes and a little bit here and under my lip here so now I'll be going in with my sponge and with the sponge I'll be spraying it with my rose spray my rose primer make sure it's a little bit soak in because I have the habit of going directly in with my sponge and then it remove my foundation or whatever my base In the corner where I have my hair being here, I'll be going in with my brush and my stick foundation. I did spray it with some primer. For my concealer, I'll be going in with the shade Fast Medium Deep Tan. And then I'll be going in with my Medium 20 shade after. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right either. So this is just for my under eye bags. These are my Chanel bags. Now I'll be blending it out and I will not be taking it too far down or too far out, I'll just be blending it right into the spot. Okay, now to highlight under my eyes i'll be using the shade medium 20 like i mentioned i 
this concealer though you don't get anything out of the bottle when you're doing it you gotta be ducking it more than once i hear the container of it I'll be using this makeup stick in the shade Call Me Maple. It's pretty much of the universal shade. I don't want to do too much of cream contour over here simply because of the hairstyle that I have today. This one is very creamy. I should have done my hair after the video, but okay. So now I'll be going with my liquid highlighter in the shade Liquid Glow and I'll just be applying this on my cheeks before I apply my powder. This is the first time I'm using this too so I need good luck. I'll be using my fingers to blend it out and then I will see how it applies and then I'll know if I will do it over at my powder too. should have done it over so after i applied it with my finger it was not that good it was kind of creasing and cracking on my skin so i used the sponge and it applied a little bit better so i'll go this over here I'll be using this wet and wild powder brush to powder my entire face just a little bit. So after looking like a powder donut, I'll be going in now with this bronzer here and this here is in the shade Palm Beach Ready. It's more of a shimmer bronzer. I did have the matte bronzer but I cannot find, I'm not sure where I put it. The brush that I'll be using for my contour is a blush brush but I like the blush brush for the contour and the contour brush for the blush. The contour blush for the blush and brush brush for the contour. I don't know.
to brush off my powder I'll be going back with the same powder brush For my blush, I'll be using this blush here and it's in the shade Pearlescent Pink. It'll come here with this small brush. Let me see. Okay, I'll use another one. So after my blush, I'll be going in again using the liquid highlighter and I'll be trying it over the powder and I'll see how that will go. I'll be using the same sponge again, put it onto the tip of the sponge and I'll be going in. It applies smoother and it's not picking up anything. So I'll leave the highlight to sit on my face and I'll be going in with the Wet n Wild Press Powder in the shade Warm Medium. This is my first time using powder also. with this highlighter here in the shade golden flower crown and I'll be using my BH cosmetic brush I did use this highlighter in a different shade it's the first I'm using in this shade here Okay, so I do not know what happened to my lip liners all for one while. I cannot find even my backups, I cannot find them. So I will just forget about the lip liner. I think I will just do my lips just like that without the lip liner. So I do have four of these lip gloss from one while. I do also have five of these shades here from the Katsu line. I did use all of these here already but i did not use this red one here this red one i bought it to do a a red look for christmas i also want to do like a red look today using wet and wild but i did not order the the dupe palette for the james charles so i just canceled the red look and i went with this one here as you can see so the red lipstick is out for sure and i'll be going in with the shade scent nudes which is this one here so for my lip line i'll be going in with a lip liner from b bella cosmetics in the shade obsessed number 18 and i'll just be lining my lips so we'll now be going in with my lipstick and the shade i'm going in with is scent nudes This one here is really creamy and nice and then that dry like 
the orders that I try. I think the one with the black cap is more drying than the one with the white caps. I'm not sure, but I think that is it. So for my under eyes, I'll be going in with that burgundy shade. Okay, so I'll be going in now with my finishing spray from Born Wild. So this is the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts on the makeup and the products. Okay, I will finish. So thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and also forget to follow me all on my other social medias. And let me take a look again to the look. My face is so flawless and so shush. <laughs>